DreamHost claims small victory in legal battle, hacking campaign targets Vietnamese organizations, and a new study reveals the need for IT specialists in the police force. This is Hacker Daily for Friday, August 25th, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. A new update in the DreamHost legal battle. The web hosting firm is claiming victory after the Department of Justice significantly narrowed its demands for data on users of an anti-Trump website. In a Tuesday filing, the DOJ clarified that it didn't realize DreamHost collected so much visitor data and that it is solely focused on finding those who planned and took part in a January 20th premeditated riot to protest Donald Trump's inauguration. They also claim they will not use any data they are granted access to in order to potentially target political activists, placing it under a court seal. However, while DreamHost labeled this as a huge win for internet privacy, it raised concerns with the government's revised request for data. In a recent blog post, DreamHost stated, much of the DOJ's original demand for information is still in place, and there are still a few issues that we consider to be problematic for a number of reasons. We're moving forward with a filing to address the remaining First and Fourth Amendment issues raised by this warrant, and we look forward to voicing those concerns in the hearing scheduled for Thursday. And it seems that a hacking campaign is targeting large Vietnamese organizations, and it's connected to the same party that previously targeted Vietnam Airlines back in 2016. The campaign was uncovered when two malicious documents were submitted to Virus Total. After following the trail, researchers uncovered more than a, a dozen malicious domains being used for command and control activities. According to Votero, the offenses are possibly led by the Chinese 1937 CN Group. The group has a history of targeting Vietnam even before the campaign, as it also hacked about 1,000 Vietnamese websites in 2015, including government portals and education sites. At the same time, it sets its sight on 200 websites in the Philippines. And lastly, in a new report from Think Tank Reform, it claims the government should be creating a digital academy to train specialist cyber police officers and increase the number of volunteers with these skills due to the current gap of IT in the police force. It urged current forces to improve the digital understanding of officers through learning apps and offline training, with force leaders given the power to remove those who underperform. To further bridge the skills gap, it recommended secondments for an extra 1,500 staff each year and an annual hackathon type of event where police can join experts to work out new ways to fight cybercrime. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.